single time we, we make a Call of Duty game, we step up to push ourselves, to push our craft, to push us creatively. With this game, what we wanted to do was provide a deeper and richer narrative. The more you play, the more you look, the more you experience the game, there's something more there. I don't think we've ever gone anywhere near the level of world building and you know set up that we're doing in this. There's, there's a lot of content in here story-wise. All right, let's get to work. We're setting up a new world. We're setting up a future scenario. At the beginning, we were talking to a lot of advisors, future technologists and uh, experts on climate change and things who painted a certain view of the world that we were kind of a little bit scared of. We're seeing the effects of climate change. We're seeing increasing wealth disparity and we're seeing, you know, the emergence of a new Cold War really, whereby there are proxy wars being fought over resources as they rapidly dwindle. Our storytellers have really pushed the envelope of Black Ops 3. It unfolds before you and below you. Not only is the narrative there as you're playing through, but we've pulled together features inside the game that are just for people who want to dive deeper into the fiction, who want to dive deeper into the narrative and the story. When we were constructing it, we started off with this kind of top line, yeah. you know, the Hollywood blockbuster mentality. Um, uh, and then and then allowed to kind of, because that extra kind of that time and extra kind of consideration we could throw at the, at the, the game, we uh, went and then started to kind of go deeper and deeper and deeper. You really have to look at current trends and you need to extrapolate and you need to project uh, based on as much accurate information as you can about how the world might go and how things will develop. We thought it was very important to show these connections so that if you're interested, if you want to kind of know, you know, why is the world like this? Why is this technology there? We put all that in and we did, a, essentially, we created a codex. We have this PDV, this personal data vault that's actually in a, in a new concept called the safe house. And that codex is hundreds of articles uh, cataloging lots of different kind of ideas from different voices as well, from news networks, from kind of blogs. And it's like a, if you think of it, like the military have done like a snapshot of a certain section of the internet and put it for your, your vault, right? And so for story writers, for world builders, we were like, okay, we can use that to uh, lay down, this is how we got there. I think one of the things that, that really excites me is that we, we, we always try not to repeat ourselves at Treyarch. We'd always try to do something different. And you know, very early on, we knew we wanted to make this a co-op game, which fundamentally changes things. And uh, more than that, the level of player customization. As we started to get going, we found that the, the opportunities of that personalization, and the way the team works uh, with itself, and then the writing opportunities that can be taken from that, I felt like we've been able to explore the narrative in a more refined way, and more considered way than we've ever done before. There is a chance in this game that you might play through the entire thing and come out with a completely different feeling and interpretation than someone else who's playing it, than your friend. And we, we love that. And I think it really kind of speaks to uh, gamers because of the way this kind of very systemic approach of how we kind of construct in our levels. So what you take in, who you are, how you then engage, the co-op kind of nature of it has forced us to actually rejigger the Call of Duty formula slightly. And I think it's a lot stronger because of it. So I think the thing that's really exciting about Black Ops when we're making it and what the fans love about it is, of course, you know, it's an epic and cinematic Call of Duty game, but Black Ops is dark and gritty and twisted and messed up. Even though you think you know what's going on, we love to mess with your head. Nuketown bonus map.